Oh wow, it, it, it is where we left. I wasn't expecting it's that. It's me! What time is it now? Is it time for my trial already? <laughs> I'm all, I've already told you a gazillion, a gazillion times, pal. I didn't do it. Say it, a, say it a gazillion more times. I'll be the judge of that, Detective Gumshoe. No, I You're will. You're not the judge. <laughs> <laughs> no, what you the... won't. I'll be the judge of that. Shut up, you two. I will be the judge. <laughs> No, 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 I'm the judge of that, <laughs> and I'll be the judge of that. Why can't you guys be a little less judgmental? Yes, well, speaking of hazy judgment, Detective Gumshoe, I'm afraid I must apologize for an error in my judgment on my part. Yeah, you fucking better. Your Honor, I don't believe you should apologize just yet. Oh, my keyboard. We have yet to prove he is completely innocent of this crime. But I am. I guess so. What? What are you guys talking about? What do you mean? In any case, in this case specifically, I would like you to testify as to your actions while you were on guard duty, guard duty, duty. And please remember, you are not on trial. This is all just a part of the investigation. As such, you may still be found to be innocent. However, if you should give false testimony... No! No! <laughs> Not again. I will pull a check loud and clear. <laughs> Just putting it in his chest. If you're found to be lying, you'll be held indefinitely. Understood? Uh, no! Why? I got your belt. <laughs> Thinking back on the state of the crime scene and the judge's testimony, it's obvious that Detective Kamshu is lying. And if I can't break his lie, then we may never get a break in this case. And <laughs> I like he's not even looking at Edgeworth. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna die. I'm gonna beat you. I came down here to this card room on uh, Detective Bat's orders. As soon as I got here, he ordered me to stand guard in front of lobby number two. From that time on, until I heard the gunshot, I was in the hallway the whole time. On my honor as a detective, I swear it wasn't me, pal. He's still singing the same tired tune. Hmm. In that case, I'll just have to change the melody. I know he's lying, and it's time I pulled the information out of him. Wait, are we doing this thing off right now? Are we doing what? <laughs> no, because I'm kidding, because it's a different tune. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> One, two, three, what four. Gumshoe, you missed your musical cue. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> F is for friends who do stuff together. Mm. Hmm. We just need to press, I guess. Yeah, yeah we have to press. Them. Let's just check all these statements. Okay, no. Let's press. It wasn't me. Hold it. Well, it was fucking one of you. have been in the hallway the whole time. However, is it not a fact that you did something while you were in that hallway? Of course, I did something. I guarded the door to lobby number two, pal. What else? Very well then. And what exactly does guarding that door entail? Um. Uh, well, to put it simply. Oh, I know. It was my job to stand in front of the door without moving an inch. Oh. Detective Gumshoe, you mean to tell me that you didn't take a single step away from the door to lobby number two? Is that really what you wish to testify to the effect of? You got it, Bell. I didn't take a single step away from the door, just like I was ordered not to. Even hmm. she sees it. <laughs> Even he sees it. And he doesn't. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Why is everyone so quiet all of a sudden? Because we are all in shock. And in awe of your utter stupidity. What the heck? Ruffy, if you're going to, t to lie, at least give us something more believable. No, no, no. But I, I'm not lying. I should hurry up and bring this insipid testimony to a close. <laughs> Why is he so cute? I want to squish his cheeks. Oh, oh. yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Do we present? Okay, this is... It's either this or this, but... No, actually, no, not this one. This one is dropped by the grill. This one is his actual fingerprint. So... Yeah, I It's gotta guess. be this, right? Let's go. Uh, Objection! Mm -mm -mm. I have an objection. Which is why I just said objection. <laughs> Leave me alone. What, what, what is it, pal? I, 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 I love how he says objection, and then he proceeds to say, Yes, I have an objection. Detective Gumshoe... <laughs> I wonder if you might recognize this from somewhere. Hey, that's my dinner! Hey, it's one of those things. The court has special Swiss rolls right now. Hmm, precisely. In that case, I suppose, 
that you also recall the solid hallway bench. Hey, you know what? I think it was probably me that did that. Detective Kamsu, you know you can go around judging up the courthouse like this. You ins inconsiderate sloppy pig! <laughs> no! Maybe he wouldn't be such a pig if you gave him a higher salary. I promise to clean up later, I swear! Now then, shall we get down to business? About the fact that you didn't the move even a single <laughs> step from in, from in front of that door. If that were really the case, then how were you able to buy a pack of Swiss rolls? Uh, no! <laughs> he, he bought it with the power of his mind. Furthermore, <laughs> if you didn't move a single step from, from in the front of the door, how did you manage to get your bed dirty with your grubby hands? He's elast he's like elastigo. He has like ten feet long arms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I wouldn't care about that now. It appears that Francisca's whip can do more damage than my words alone can. Alright, I can best spell. I was hungry, so I bought a pack for myself, okay? I thought I'd get chewed out again if anyone found me about eating on the job. Is that a pun? So I didn't want to say anything. Well, unfortunately for you, I saw you do the whole dastardly deed. I clearly saw you buying a pack of Swiss rolls from the vending machine. <sighs> okay, okay, I'm sorry for lying. But that's all I'm sorry for. You got that? Because I'm not holding anything else back. That last <laughs> statement. It may sound like it makes sense. However, there is something I don't quite believe about it. Are you sure you're not withholding further information from us? Uh, oh, oh, of course not. I've got nothing else to hide. No. Objection. They're one dollar. Oh, if only that were if only that were true, Detective Gumshoe. But it is true, pal. I swear there's nothing else. Detective Gumshoe, I'm sure I'm sure you are aware of the price of a pack of Swiss rolls, correct? Uh, um, remind me again, Bell. Not vending machine out in the hallway. He's selling packs of two Swiss rolls for six dollars a pack. Ow. Uh, and yet, according to you, ow. you didn't have any cash on you until you cast your five dollars, five dollar annual bonus check. Annual? Annual? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, I thought that was like weekly. No, annual. Five dollars oh. per year? Isn't that That's right? my salary! Bro, these inflation better be low. Like <laughs> oh. the worth of like five dollars has gotta be high. Let me oh, ask so you. Roll comes like a million dollars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How did you manage to pack purchase a pack all by yourself? Can you provide me with an with an explain proper explanation to that? Ah, I told you, I bought it myself, pal. There wasn't anyone else in the hallway with me. So there's no one who could have helped me buy it. Hmm. Wait, don't tell me. You've got some kind of proof that there's someone else in the hallway, don't you? Correct. As if you could. I mean, what are the chances of that? Wait, you do. Of course do? I do. What? What? How? What proof do I have that there must have been someone else there in the hallway? Either the balloon or the balloon. other suit. Or is there anything else? Yeah. Not a balloon, yeah, balloon, because the source we found later, so it doesn't make sense. Yeah, unless, it's unless, balloon. uh, it's, it's not the balloon. Is that a balloon? Okay, never mind. It's not a balloon. The Swiss roll. It's the bonus of a balloon. Um. Hmm. Wait, so when it comes in two, is there like two per pack? Yeah, yeah. Two per pack. Oh, so it's not part of the same pack. Two per six dollars. Hmm. Let's go through each of our evidence. Mm -hmm. Yes. If it's not the balloon, it only makes sense to have the... What's the name? The Swiss wall. Uh, yeah. Oh, not the, not the badge. It could also be the. It's my we could also present this, cause like. No, that doesn't mean there's someone else. Well, I mean, someone else had to give him the money. Mm. There's something there that shows the money. The Swiss roll. No, probably. Oh, it is the Swiss roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take that. <laughs> Another point for Sha. Yeah. Yeah. You showed that to me not two seconds ago, pal. Stop 
right here in front of my face. Ah, I think you're under the mistaken impression that I bought this pack of rolls. Wait, if he did buy it, then that means you must have stolen it, you thief! Oh, I would never do such a thing. Don't bullshit me. All you liars are the same. You start out as thieves. You're under arrest, pal. I believe you meant to assert that all thieves start out as liars. And in that case, what does that say about you, detective? Ah! This particular Swiss roll was dropped by a certain someone. So he did technically steal it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. There were two rolls in this package. You ate one of them. Oh, so there are... Oh, so it... So they did share the package. Yeah. Oh, that's another point for me. <laughs> two points for Griffin. But you then <laughs> gave the other one to a hey, certain other person, before. didn't you? No way, Belle. You got it all wrong. I ate both of them. <laughs> Come to take the balls again. It would appear that we've caught you at last. Hey, don't you dare do anything bad to that girl. It would appear that they do know each other after all. So why do you come? Why do, why do you continue to come up and kick me in the nuts? Have I wronged you somehow? I have a name, and it's K. K what? K is that? Um, K Faraday. Faraday. <laughs> Are you perhaps Mr. Faraday's daughter? I'm not you. I'm K. Yeah, K. You know. Good little girls don't kick other people in the nuts, especially not hard enough to leave big nasty This is too male gazing for me. This is too male gazing for me. I'm gonna kick do, your ass. Do what? <laughs> male male gazing. <laughs> well, then you shouldn't have put gummy under our vest, mister. G gummy? I guess it's he's talking about Detective Gumshoe. What a cute nickname you've given him. Gummy didn't do anything wrong! Okay. It appears that I will need to speak with her in a bit more detail. Oh. Ah, shiver me timbers. <laughs> I, I, the, the dog doesn't bite. The dog. Hey there. Um. <laughs> Kick them, I dare you. Now then, Kay. <laughs> She's like a stray cat! Without a father. Ooh! I wonder if I should oh. feed her something. How about this gun? <laughs> Eat this, Kay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh my god. Triple oh. homicide today. <laughs> Take that! Ow. Kay, I promise to give you this to you. I, I promise to. No, wait. He says take that, but he says, oh. But only if you calm down. I Wait, is it, is, it the point calm for, down. is it the point for Daniel or me if we said it both at the same time? Which oh. one? Uh, the Swiss roll. Oh, okay. Fine. I mean, it's pretty clear. You get this one, Daniel. Why not the gun, though? Feed it the gun. Want the gun. <laughs> oh. Unless you want I was, oh, a 9mm Makarov pistol instead. <laughs> Alright, let's go. It really belongs to you, though, doesn't it? Yeah, I was saving it for daddy. Uh. Oh my. Your father, he's. Uh, don't you say another word, Belle. She doesn't know it yet. Thanks for watching out for me, Gummy. But I, I already know about that. I overheard the guards talking and. About how dad's uh, not here anymore. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't protect him. Okay. I I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna. <laughs> cry. It's all right. Let it all out. Your father just passed away after all. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> I myself was also involved in a case that at this courthouse when I was a young child. A case in which my father, who was a defense at attorney, passed away. All of my dreams of becoming a lawyer were crushed into fine ash on that nightmarish day. 
Even now, what the shame! The wound festers I feel bad. deep in the depths of my soul. And he doesn't even know yet. He doesn't know that he wasn't <laughs> the one who killed him. Ever since that incident, I've dedicated myself to locking away every criminal I can. And now to have this happen right in front of me. This child. I feel a certain shared fate, a common bond between us. Miles Edgeworth, what sort of a gentleman are you? Are you going to just stand there and watch Lady cry? Yes. Ah, you're right. Uh, sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> All men are the same. <laughs> <laughs> Francisco, would be, uh, Francisco would say that. I'm surprised Gumshoe hasn't hugged her yet. Okay, here, how about we use this handkerchief here and dry your little eyes? <laughs> just kidding, don't take things from strangers. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, that's what she wanted she's to using, return him the napkin! She's using it as a tissue. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my cravat! Don't blow your nose on that! I feel better now. Thanks. Okay. No, he's killing your cup. <laughs> Wait, what now? Do I just talk to her? Okay. Kay, are you going to be alright? Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm already alright. Somehow, I highly doubt that. But I'm not going to push it. I promise that I'd never cry in front of strangers. Hey, you're a good kid, aren't you, Kay? You always keep your promises, right? Mm-hmm. That's right. You're fucking better. Even, even if I can't see that anymore, I'm just going to keep all my promises. <laughs> Don't make me cry like that. <laughs> you're a brave... You're a brave girl, Kay. You're a very good child for keeping promises you made to your papa. I'll even testify that you didn't cry, just for you. Wow. Thank you very much, lady. Huh, it's nothing. I'm only telling the truth after all. It would appear that because her father was a respected prosecutor, Francisca is sympathetic to Kay's feelings. And only because of that? Yeah, <laughs> not, because, not because she she's uh, fatherless? <laughs> Okay, what kind of a person was your father? Dad was a hero of justice! His job was to catch all bad people in the world! So to you, a prosecutor was a hero of justice? Huh. I suppose we are in a sense as we are the ones who seek the guilty verdicts for criminals. Plus, you know what? Whenever I came into the courthouse, Dad would buy me my absolute favorite treat, Swiss rolls! Oh? I want to be a hero of justice someday, just like Dad. Aww. So, I've been working really hard. I see. And what have you been working hard on? I've been working hard to keep all the promises Dad and I have made together. A promise oh, so book. sweet. May I take a look inside, Kay? Sure, okay. It appears to be an exchange diary of sorts between father and daughter. Mr. Faraday's writing conveys a sense of the kind of man he was. This little notebook just might come in handy later. I'll keep that if oh, you Oh, look at the writing, look at the writing. L look at the writing. Look at the writing. Look at the bonus writing. The bonus? The bonus writing. There's bonus? The bonus. The bonus. Oh. Gumshoe's bonus. Oh, Gumshoe's bonus. Oh, wait, no, it's here somewhere. No, no, what? what? Wait, what? No, what, what? What do you mean? Is the it, bonus, did, did the $5. He, did he write about the bonus? No, I said it just looks the same, writings. Oh, that's true. In a way, yeah, the bonus and the promises. Yeah. Thank you. So we can actually verify it now. Thank you for thank you for showing it to me, Kay. I hope you'll, conti I hope you'll continue to work hard and become a hero just like your father. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna try. And you're gonna do. Hey, Kay. So I'm gonna take the catch the bad people, right? That makes me a hero, too. But you couldn't save her father. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Yeah. You're really cool, too, Gummy, even though you couldn't save my father. Yeah, aren't I, Kay? What is with the two of them? Oh, no. I, I, I hand out verdicts of justice, so that makes me a hero, too. Yes, no thanks to you, you're so heroic testimony. 
You almost painted the detective as a vile criminal and him off to jail. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm really sorry about that. Gummy's not a Batman, okay? That poor judge. He's being treated like a vile criminal rather than a hero of justice. It appears that you and Detective Gumshoe are good friends, Kay. <laughs> okay. Oh wait, oh, I was sorry. pretty sick and... <laughs> I, 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 thought, I, thought that, I thought your mic was just muffled. You were yawning. <laughs> yeah. My bad. In that case, would you mind telling me a little more about him? In front of him. It's me. <laughs> so I take it that you ran into Detective Gumshoe earlier. Yep. I was on my way to see Dad when I saw Gummy standing there. He was standing in the hallway staring really hard at the vending machine. So I said hi. <laughs> Stared really hard at it. <laughs> and when was this? Um, before everything got crazy. How long were the two of you together? Um, we only talked for a little while, and then we went out on our ways. That's right, pal. Can't only talk for a little while, and that's it. Oh, which means we have now confirmed that Kay was in the hallway during the recess. Isn't that right? Hey, you can't beat me! I told you to stop peeking with my gummy, mister! Hmm, very well then. I'll just have to speak with the, with the good detective in private later. Were you oh. the one who bought this pack of Swiss rolls, Kay? Um, well... I didn't really have a lot of money. And I somehow made a dollar out of all the pennies and quarters I had. But that still wasn't enough, so, and, and I really, really wanted one. Come to think of it, she did come and ask me to exchange a handful of change for a dollar. And that's when you came and asked me to change your money, correct? Yeah, thanks a bunch for doing that, mister. Sure, but let me ask you, even with that dollar, you still didn't have enough, correct? Um, that's why. Hey, if you bully Kay anymore, I'm gonna have to arrest you, pal. I need to remind you that you're the one who's already under arrest. No! Hey. Ow! I sense that Kay is going to be less than forthcoming with this question. Um, sorry about your roughly thing. <sighs> yes, well, now that it's positively drenched in your nasal mucus. Don't worry, Kay. I have a spare. So here, you can have this one. Um... But Dad said, never take things from a stranger. <laughs> ah, it's one of the promises you made in your promise notebook, correct? Uh, 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 objection! Objection! Oh, actually, is, is it? Yeah, that's right there. <laughs> it's the first one. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid idiot. Yeah. Look, see? It's right here on this page. No. <laughs> Uh -huh. hmm. Minus one point for you. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. All right then, I'm not giving this to you. I'm merely allowing you to borrow it. You can take it home, wash it nice and clean, and then give it back to me the next time we meet. And she did. She did. Okay. Dad never said I couldn't borrow things from strangers. Now the detective Gumshoe. Uh oh. I believe it is now crystal clear that you were with, no. you were with little Kay in that hallway. No. Kay in the hallway. Girl, I told you to stop being mean to Gummy. Mouse Edgeworth, there is still something you have yet to resolve. I beg your pardon? You still have not offered an explanation for why that man would lie to us. Th that's... Uh, well... Gum... Gummy, don't tell me you'd like for my sake. Hey, don't worry about it, Kay. Everything's gonna be okay. Ah, so that's why. So what was Detective Gumshoe motive for lying? If you can't explain that, then you can't call this a perfect investigation. Hmm. This reason for lying was very simple. What? Here is what I believe to be his reason. Simple observation of the detective's actions and his interactions with Kay. It's obvious that the detective was lying for the young girl's sake. 
and this piece of evidence will show you show you exactly why. Which piece of evidence proved that Detective Gumshoe was lying on account of K? Um, the bonus? Is, no. it, is, it, is it something here? Maybe? Maybe? Never go with strangers, always people with a smile. Always try Never cry, always yeah. no. Did he make sure? Oh. Hmm. I didn't actually show it to him. I think it was more of a situation of. Um, I need the bathroom, be right back. Okay. Is it because of the the blue? Is it because of the Swiss roll? Is it because of the bonus? Any ideas, Shaw? We're, we're trying to find out like what piece of evidence proves that he was lying for K. And I think it's the balloon because if they knew that the if they knew that oh, the, yeah. the, the, the balloon belonged to her, then that would Agreed. that would throw suspicion on her, right? I agree. And even though I mean she's like what twelve? Even then, that like there's something better than the balloon. <laughs> something better than the balloon? Is huh? it the money? I also consider the money. Oh my god! One, one plus five is six. He's got music. <laughs> no. There's something even better. What? Wait, guys, 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 guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I turned on the stream on my phone because, like, wait, 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 wait. and I realized I never listened to the music before, and I'm just hearing it. I'm like, whoa. It's good, right? Music. Yeah. Okay, now wait. Back to my. Okay. There's something better. What is the song? I said Swiss roll, but it it has been overruled. I think it was actually the first thing you mentioned, Daniel. That you were right. You were right. Really, the balloon? The bonus? No, 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 no. no. Before the balloon, you said something. Before Did, I pooed. Wait, what? And you were right. I don't, I don't remember. Oh, this. The you notebook. said the, the promise book. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. You're right. Really? Okay. Yeah. Take that. But why? But why? What's what? What? Why? Well, you'll see. Mister <laughs> Freddy. Mr. Ferdier is in case promise notebook. How does this explain anything? Same for Siska. I don't know. Oops. If you could, if you could take a look at this page, it's clearly written that K should never take things from a stranger. Oh, when Detective comes, you heard about that promise. He tried to cover for K. Ah. So wait. It is a point for Daniel. That's fucking Daniel. What a foolish <laughs> fool of fool who does fool of a foolish reason. And a poor fool. <gasps> Why? Mommy, you lied because of me, didn't you? No. Maybe. Because I'm your friend, Kate. That's why. Tommy! As long as, Detective Gumshoe, can you please tell me the whole truth now? No. Guess there's no beating you, huh, pal? Okay, I'll spill the goods. I've been standing guard for a while. <laughs> I was getting really hungry, and that snack vending machine was taunting me. But all you could cash you had me was five dollars. That wasn't enough to buy anything, right? After all, the cheapest item in the machine pack in the machine is a six dollar pack of Swiss rolls. Yeah, but then like an angel from heaven, Kay showed up. I was thinking about sharing a stack of that. Oops. I said. So I wanted to buy Swiss roll. But he only had about a dollar in the coins. So, oh. so we pulled together my five dollars and a one dollar together, and bought a pack of Swiss rolls together. But I was worried about breaking one of my promises. So then Gummy said, "Mr. Faraday's one scary guy when he gets mad." But don't worry, you won't get in trouble if I don't tell, right? Oh. Besides, you bought it with me, so you didn't really get it from me, you know. He told me it would be okay, and then gave me a whole roll and save and, and to save and give her dad. We. 
Who knew that Scruffy could be so considerate? Indeed. Detective, I take it that you have that you then sat down on the bench and ate the rose together. Yeah, we split the other rolls and ate it right then. The sweet taste of that cake's chocolate. I'll never forget it as long as I live, pal. Lucky for you, you can buy one right away. No, you don't have enough money. Anyway, <laughs> Kay, I believe this also belongs to you. Oh, that's from the balloon I popped. It's bad manners to leave garbage lying around, Kay. I'm sorry. Well, I guess it can be plain for you not to find the throwing this one piece away. Okay, you're under arrest for littering. <laughs> <laughs> it was sitting high up on the window where you couldn't see it. Actually, she, she littered twice. She dropped the, she dropped the sweet roll and she dropped the, uh, the balloon. Oh, what's so, that? She's a criminal. So, just this once, I forgive you. That's two offenses, Kay. But that balloon... I wanted to surprise Gummy a little, so I popped it on purpose. <laughs> And because of me, Gummy dropped his half of a Swiss roll. Oh no, he dropped it. Never mind. That's my dinner. No. <laughs> well, you really got me there, pal. So I thought maybe I should give Gummy this, the other roll. And then I saw you picking on Mr. Gummy. So you kicked me. Is that it? You sure are a feisty one. I like that. <laughs> I'm really sorry, Mr. It's all right. I'm perfectly unharmed. Yeah, but my nuts still hurt. But about this Swiss roll, <laughs> would it be all right with you if I held on to it until Detective Gumshoe was cleared of all charges and free to go? I promise I won't eat it. All right. Yeah, sure. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure to give it to Gummy afterwards, okay? Of course. I promise. Now then, I believe we have proven beyond a shadow of doubt and Detective Gumshoe was in the hallway for the entire duration of his duty, which undeniably proves that Detective Gumshoe could not have committed the double murders. Bum, bum, bum. Well, that does not sound like... That's... Actually, it just proves the opposite, Adjworth. You've just shown. That is the worst objection ever. That Detective Gumshoe is the only one who could have committed the crime. What, what do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> Uh -huh. He said the line! Okay, that's quite brutal. He's dropped, Miss You. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm getting lectured on manners. By a girl with a pension and a whipping people. <laughs> for a pe pension for whipping people. What? How dare you talk to me with such insolence? You're wrong, lady. Gumshoe's not the bad guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. What were you doing? What are your kids doing in this courthouse? Bailiff, please take this kid away. Ah! Oh, <laughs> Miss Callisto, you! That girl is Mr. Faraday's. I know, so what? You think just because she's a victim, she's the victim's daughter, she gets to just run wild all over the crime scene? I think it's actually quite dangerous for her to speak nothing of getting underfooted. I suppose you're right. However... As long as we're in the agreement on that point, let's get back to the real issue at hand. Now then, Detective, you were in front of the door lobby too, the entire time, correct? Yeah, but... You see? Isn't it obvious? It can only be the Detective. He is the only one who could have gotten into Lobby No. 2 at the time of the murder. Uh, I, I have no counter-argument to that. Don't worry, I've already put the necessary paperwork for his formal arrest. Uh, but the investigation is far from over. Oh, that's right. I was going to speak with you about that. Don't you think it's reckless to talk to the suspect out in the open without a guard? That's what we do all the time. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose it is. Well, as someone with more experience in law than you, allow me to share something. Always keep a good eye on the criminal, or you may regret what comes of your negligences. Okay, Dahlia. Okay. Dahlia. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, Miles, I can't believe you're letting this woman lecture you like that. <laughs> this is unforgivable, as the type of von karma. 
Edgeworth is a sub. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> Don't, Tigress. Now then, I'll be looking forward to the result of your investigation. You know, it, it makes sense, because most of the people who, who are always in control need to not be in control. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's very like true. Right so, so, we're back to square one. Actually, this is our last chance. I can tell that if we fail to solve this case, Detective Gumshoe will be formally charged under all of the circumstantial evidence. This investigation is not over yet. There's still one location we have yet to inspect. It's where Detective Bad and Miss Yu were at the time of the, of the crime. Lobby number one. Never? 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 Goodbye forever. No, 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 it's oh. I pressed yes anyway. Never gonna run around and just get you. And Francisco once say, you know the rules, and so do I. Yeah, yeah, she, I have a clip of that. <laughs> <laughs> Never gonna make you cry. Never gonna suck.